Hey, what's up everyone? It's David here. I've got the Skystream here and I'm going to be setting it up. So when the Skystream first boots up, it boots up at 720p at 50 hertz. And that's perfectly normal. There's nothing wrong with your box. It will then switch over to 1080p. And once that's completed the setup, it you'll then have to switch it if you've got a 4K TV to 2160p. It's not natively switching. So the box is a 4K unit, but um, for some reason they cap it at 1080p. I'm guessing because most TVs all support Full HD now, 1080p, so they do that just to avoid any problems. But if it's a smart device, normally they should be able to detect what your TV is capable of. But that's just something that's neither here nor there. But you've got to make sure, and I'll show you this in the video, when you've completed the setup, that you scroll down to settings and switch to, to get the maximum picture quality out of your TV. Okay, hello, welcome to Skystream Puck. Don't know why they call it Puck, makes no sense. You're now connected. So you click continue. Connect your remote. If you would like the remote to control your TV volume and switch your TV off and on, obviously yes. Okay, I'll just check if my volume works. And yep, it works, so I press yes. Now it asks, great, your remote is now in control of your TV, volume switch your TV off and on. Would you like to, basically if you've got a sound bar, I got, haven't got one connected so I'm going to press no. But if you have, obviously click yes. You're now connected. Finish the setup and stop. Your Skystream account says hello, your name, and we'll link your account confirming. Yep and indicates that your acceptance of the terms and conditions. Yep. Create your pin. Now this is to obviously stop people making purchases or viewing things that they shouldn't for age concerning content. Pin settings complete. Continue. Or change. Just change them because pin for daytime viewing, I don't need that. So I'm going to switch that off. And pin for box office. Of course, I'm going to have that still on. I'm not going to get people buying things on my account. Living room TV. So you can even click garage. So as you can see here, quite modern looking graphics. Very similar to what you have on Sky Go. And of course, what you have on Sky TV Glass because it's the same interface. Scrolling down, as I said before, the very first thing you want to do is get into settings. Go to picture quality. This is 1080p. Switch to 2160. You only do this if your TV is a 4K unit. 4K TV. So it's going to. Ch if if it's not 4K, it will switch automatically back because your screen will go blank. But I pressed yes because it works. But go back to home now I'm watching it at 2160p ultra HD so you've got some content here obviously we've got prime BBC high player all the content that's been shown that people are watching right now TV shows movies sports kids news audio and music, fitness, and international. TV guide, so you've got there what's currently on. You can just switch, shows you what, how far the program's also on at the moment. We can click on TV guide. Let's click on all channels. Let me scroll down here. BBC London HD. BBC Two HD. 
ATV HD. So they've got all the, the standard five channels plus additional HD channels that you can't get a hold of on the other Sky platforms. Such as five action HD. And Pick TV HD. How about that? It's not just exclusive to Sky Glass, it's also on Sky Stream. Five action HD and all the rest of them in HD. You even got the Channel 4 HD channels. The music channels, for some reason, still haven't gone HD yet. Don't know why. It's not like we're not used to watching them HD on uh, YouTube. A few Ultra HD channels, but again, streaming. They haven't so far launched it on TV, satellite, and I don't think they will be doing it at all now. BBC iPlayer, all the apps, Paramount Plus, Discovery Plus, all the big boys. You've got Apple TV Plus on here. Netflix. Collections. Eye-opening stories, games, about, and obviously back to the settings. And this is just the help guide, help you get the most out of your Skystream. So all in all, looks pretty impressive to be honest. It's got its limitations like anything, it's reliant on the internet. But um, yeah, obviously we're getting used to using it and uh, telling you how I get on. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And like always, see you out there.